Hi everybody and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a portrait tutorial because while I'm not a portrait painter I absolutely love painting portraits. I'm really going to try and explain an easy way to create your own portrait so feel free to use your own photograph, maybe you want to do a self portrait or maybe you're going to draw a family member and also I want to just thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video but more on that later. So if you're not used to using skin colours, I really recommend just spending a bit of relaxed time just playing with the colours. Usually most skin colours are a combination of all of these. Adding more yellow can make a warm bright colour, adding more red can make it more pinky and fleshy toned, and adding blue just stops the colours becoming too vibrant, and especially if you need a bit more of a purplish tinge. Burnt umber can also be used to darken a colour. So definitely just spend a bit of time practicing with these colours and getting different flesh tones. And the more practice you get, the quicker you'll be at getting your colour right. So you can see that I've pencil drawn my grid on. I'll leave a link in the description box to the website I used to do this. So the first thing you need to do is grid over your photograph. Then you need to count how many squares you'll need for the face. Measure the width of your canvas and divide it up equally so that you'll definitely have enough room. Then draw the connecting lines to create a grid on your canvas. So I'm going to start with the eye so that I know where the face is going to sort of like be on the canvas. So if we look at the center of the eye on the right hand side, you can see that it's four boxes in, about three or four boxes down, depending where we want it. So I'm going to go for four boxes down, four boxes in, and we can meet about here. So we know that the eye is going to be around here and then we can just start to map it in. So from that point you can see that the eyebrow goes across about here and you can sort of follow the box round and you can see that the eyebrow sort of meets around here. So then we can start to draw that in. It's really important that you keep looking at the reference photo and almost don't see it as an eyebrow, just see it as a shape that you're trying to copy. And so now I've sort of done that little eye area, I'm going to start working upwards. So we've got this box here, if we move up one box, there's not really anything in it apart from like a few little hairs here. So then if we move up again, we can see that the hairline starts to come in about here. Now you can spend as long as you want on this stage. I, I don't like to do it spend too long because obviously this is not a drawing, this is going to be a painting so we're going to be painting over um, all of this anyway. But it's really just so, sort of like guide. If you're not very confident with the painting process or making it look how you want then you can spend a lot longer on this if you prefer. So right now I'm just following the hair down So if we look across to the next box, you can see that the nose starts to come in around here.
Okay, so once you've gone around every grid and you've mapped it all out, I'm just going to take my reference photo and I'm just going to double check that everything's in the right place. So I've got my eye there, I'm just going to move down by grid, just check I've got all the key points. Okay, so everything looks right. Um, obviously the face looks a little bit strange right now because we've simply just mapped it out. Okay, so I've got a bit of a smaller brush now. So if you like zoom in on the reference photo, you can see like just above the eye in this sort of crease, it's almost like a bit purplish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some red. And I'm gonna take some blue. I'm going to add a little bit of white. Then I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre as well because you can still see that there is like a, a yellowy browny underbase. And now it's just a case of taking the time on the palette and to keep adding colours till you feel like you've got the correct one. So mine's gone a little bit too yellowy. I'm going to add a little bit of blue in again. And it's just a case of balancing that out. I'm going to add a little bit of white. And sometimes if you're not sure if it looks right or not, you can just go ahead and try a little bit on the painting and then it can sometimes just help you see if you like that colour or not. So I'm quite happy with that colour, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water because it's drying a little bit. And I'm just going to pop that colour in. And obviously if we don't like a colour it's really really easy to go over it so don't worry about that at all. And similar to when we did the drawing now it's sort of a case of moving through the photograph and adding these colours that we can see. So sometimes what I like to do is while I've got a colour there I'll just look around that area and just see if there's any more moments of that colour that I can use this same little bit on. So I can see that there's a little bit under her eye here with that same colour. So I'm just going to pop in a bit there. And that can sometimes just save a little bit of time. And we may as well, well I've got the paint there mixed already. I'm also going to just add a little bit under the crease here. Okay, so now I'm going to sort of move under the eyebrow a little bit and you can see that it gets a lot brighter. So I'm going to add to that same mixture, I'm going to add a bit more yellow and I'm going to add a little bit more red and some more white. And then I'm going to pop that under here and sort of blend it in a little. You can see that just under the eyebrow is quite light. So I'm going to take this just underneath it. And then if we add some more white to that same mixture, and I'm going to add just a little bit more pink as well. And then I'm going to pop that in. So like we did before, I'm going to check to see if there's any other moments of this colour as well. You can see in this corner of the eye, it's got a lot more yellow tinge to it. So I'm going to add some more yellow. And you can, if you want, really um, exaggerate these colours. So if you wanted to make it a bit more abstract looking, if you see like a yellowy area, you could go for adding bright yellow. Or if you see a purple area, add bright purple, you know. And this is where you can sort of really make your portrait look a little bit different. But I thought if I just show you sort of like the colours that we can actually see, it will be a bit easier really. So if you're working on your own portrait, 
You can just do like what I've been doing and just keep looking around the picture for certain colours, certain tones and just start adding them through. I think I'm actually going to work with a bit of a smaller brush because this is a little bit big for an eye. We never want to use just white with the white of the eye because an eye white is never just plain white. Usually it has a little bit of blue in or a little bit of pink in or usually a bit of a mixture of all the colours. For the white of the eye I'm just going to take a bit of white on my palette. And looking at my reference photo, whatever photo you're using, it might be a little bit different. But I can definitely see hints of yellow, blue and red. So first of all, I'm going to take a bit of yellow. And I'm going to add that in. Then I'm going to add some blue and just add that in like slightly at the bottom and at the top and then we're going to add in some red and I'm going to add that in the corner and then take it through to like you know the fleshy bit of the eye and to make that center of the eye I'm going to make a it's almost like a purpley color I'm going to take some red and add some blue and even a little bit burnt umber and I'm going to add in that little bit of shadow and there is also a tiny little bit at the other end as well okay so now we're going to add the pupil and on my photograph it's like a brown so I'm going to go in with the burnt umber I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre because I can see it's not like fully brown, it's just quite uh, dark. So I'm going to add that in just for a little bit of something different. And I'm just going to fill in the whole pupil. After we've done this level of detail in the face, I'm going to go in and add like little details. So this is just layer two. And then there will be layer three with details and little amendments and things like that. So if you'd like a more in-depth tutorial on portrait painting, because let's face it, I'm not a portrait painter, there are some amazing tutorials on Skillshare. A few of my favourite are Kirsty Gordon's Lessons, she does a series with an underpainting and then one in colour, and also Gia Sung's Up Your Portrait Game in One Hour. For those of you that don't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform with tons of different videos about all different topics and their premium membership gives you unlimited access to all classes so that you can discover and learn a new passion. They currently have an offer of a two month free trial so if you want to go over there and have a look then feel free, the link is in the description box. As for this portrait in this video, I'm just going to keep on checking the reference photo and checking back to my painting and match up the colours the best I can and just work through the painting.
It took time to recognize We are all filled with pride I'm a wreck when I'm not by your side Yes, I know, yes, I know That I have to agree There is no one as reckless as me Thank you.